Let's do this. Gim Goggy, everybody. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. If I'm stuck in traffic and it's going to be 20 minutes, I'd rather turn around and ride 40 minutes. No traffic going this way means bad things happen in tunnel. Confucius says. Oh yeah. Merry Christmas everybody. Happy Holidays. Happy Hanukkah. I don't know if Kwanzaa is really a holiday, but what I really wanted to talk about was my favorite movie. And that is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Now, if you ask me on Christmas Day, they would play the Christmas story. Like, I don't know, 26 hours straight of it. I don't know if it's uh, money or whatever else, but I will actually have to say this year, I've seen a lot less people decorate. Um, or they've gone to these things, you know, the blow-ups. They put one or two out and like that, I'm done. <laughs> I know, it's easier. We're getting fatter and lazier as we get older. I wanted to uh, tell you today it's not that, that's my batteries. I decided that the best tobacco I could review, Jolly Old St. Nicholas, which I've tried to read this three or four times to see if I can get through it without any problems, but I know I'm not going to. Yeah, I don't even know how to say it. I've said it a couple times. A largeus of St. Nick's personal smoking mixture. This magical blend combines the finest golden Virginias with the mellow black Cavendish and a whisper of genuine St. James Perique for complex tobacco flavor and enhanced by notes of orange liqueur and hints of ginger, alluding to an early legend of Kris Kringle secretly gifting gold to a needful family. It's been aged. Uh, it was uh, tinned August 22nd, 2022. So, uh, you know, it's got a year and four months on it. It smells really good. If you ask me, it smells like fruitcake. Let's pack a bowl. Let's light her up. I can tell you, this is the most expensive pipe I have ever bought and it draws like shit. So I'm going filterless and it tastes like shit. Now some of you would say, well, you're using a brand new pipe. Yep, you are correct. So for any of you pipe smokers, I don't know if you've gone through this or not. but you just open up a can of it and you try it out and it tastes like dong. And that's why you always bring a second pipe. I'm gonna try this pipe out and see if this makes any difference. Different pipe. I'll tell you, I like the fragrance of the unburnt tobacco just an explanation this is my very first pipe I ever bought so I know it really well I bring it on almost every uh, site that I go to 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 you know test out a tobacco because I know what this one is and and I know it very well I feel like my favorite Christmas movie is turning out to be the way my 
tobacco reviews going. And I wish I would have brought out the best part of Christmas vacation that I could when Clark is going off and wanting his boss with a, uh, a ribbon on his head right there in his living room. All right, let's go over this. By sight, wouldn't have been my way of doing it. Uh, again, it's very cartoony, and it's not even like traditionally old, like the, the 60s, 50s, 70s, like, you know, people that are smoking pipes nowadays. It's not nostalgia from their childhood or, yeah, looks, yeah. Smell out of the tin, raw tobacco, beautiful smelling love the smell of it as far as smoking this indoors I, yeah I don't think I could see Santa Claus sitting at the uh, the mall back in the day smoking this around moms that brought their kids and all that other stuff to sit on Santa's lap to wish for you know a gift taste as far as taste goes, I taste a little bit of the orange, but not that much. Man, for an aromatic, it's not so much. Kind of disappointing. Kind of wish I brought another type of tobacco. Anyways, all right. I just got brightened up a little bit here. I'm happy to be hanging with my homies though. They listen well. They don't ask for much. So that's taste. Uh, how does it make me feel? Disappointed again. But that's this hobby, the hobby of, of pipe smoking. Um, I've had some inquiries about, you know, people that want to get into it. And, um, it is a long term kind of a hobby that you have to learn how to, you know, there's a lot of things about it. I'm not going to sit here and give you uh, how to do it, but it's not something you just pack a pipe and light it up and start smoking. It's, it's uh, a lot more difficult than that. It does go down to the type of tobacco, the pipe that you choose, um, how you pack it, um, how you light it, uh, what your cadence is on, on, on uh, you know, puffing on it, uh, you know, not getting it too hot, not letting it get too cold because then it goes out. Um, it's a hobby that uh, it's a little frustrating to get used to, but as soon as you get it, um, it just becomes part of kind of your life. Um, I tried to get into this. Uh, this is my very first pipe, but I did try to get corn cobs. And I still haven't gotten a corn cob to taste right of any of my uh, tobaccos. So <clears throat> um, I've had, like today, I went outside and I smoked uh, No Bite Delight if you can go back to the Ollie video. And I forget what pipe I had it in. Oh yeah, I do, it's the apple one. Um, tasted like garbage. Um, smoke it in another pipe, tastes wonderful. Um, it's just briar, I don't know why, I don't know what. It could be a, it could be a screen in the bottom that I put in so it, I don't suck up any uh, uh, pieces of, of tobacco, but I don't know. Could be my taste buds. To me right now, it kind of tastes like uh, what Eddie was putting down the sewer drain. I'm trying to give it all the way down to the bottom of the bowl. Give you an honest and, you know, like I said, it doesn't taste like total dog poop. Um, it tastes like tobacco in a bowl. Uh, I don't know if it's the Perique that I'm tasting. I've had another one with Perique in it that I'm starting to uh, make the connection to. 
And again, you know, for anybody that's going to pick it up, I could let this sit in a jar because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this home, put it in a jar. Uh, I'm not going to smoke another bowl of it for at least a week, uh, but I might also not smoke another bowl of it until next Christmas and see if it changes at all. Um, so because I've opened up tins and it tastes like junk, put it in a jar and a week later I'm like, oh, this is a whole different, different tobacco. It's almost like letting it air uh, or mature in the open fresh air than it's been being kept up in, inside of a tin. It is what it is. Some are great, some are bad. I know I could have brought two other tins for uh, two, you know, other different types of tobacco, and it would have been a pleasure. Maybe that's what I need to start doing too. Sometimes bringing in another tobacco on top of another pipe. So hopefully you kind of enjoyed it. All right. Oh no, they're not home yet. And they're not even set up. Okay, well. I am confused as the house that I wanted to video is not currently lit right now. You know, some you win, some you lose. You know what I mean? You just sit there and you come out and you uh, got a tobacco, you got a place to go. I had to go to the other house and uh, that worked out. I had a good couple of smokes with some buds I knew. Did you guys video me? I think this is like my 18th or 19th video and I still don't have this shit down right. But yeah, hopefully you have all your Christmas shopping done and for you boys and girls that are young, hopefully you've all been good. If not, there's coal for you in your stocking. How do you think I keep warm nowadays? Collect it, little boys and girls. Trust me. Electric's expensive in today's day and world. Glad I saved it all. Oh, look at this guy. Dallas fan. You can always tell when somebody was dropped on their head as a little child. They become Dallas fans. What a waste of time. Sorry. I just making grass green and cutting it in December. <laughs> oh wait, it's supposed to be sexy. Alright, I'll let that go. And let's see what it looks like. Sorry, it's a Savinelli St. Nicholas. Might not be a special pipe. Might just be added into my collection. I swear that everybody thinks that I'm probably sitting around here smoking pot on the side of their house. Guess I didn't turn off my helmet camera. That sucks because I have 40 minutes left.